We get tons of messages on social media and we appreciate them all. A lot of times they're awesome tool deals that we share with the very cool gang. Honestly though, sometimes there's just so many that if something looks familiar and I think I've seen it before, I'll take a glance and that's where it ends. This time might be different. This may be the biggest video we ever make because what I'm about to share with you is as massive as when Milwaukee Tool announced a power tool platform using lithium ion cells instead of NICAD and the entire industry followed their lead. Well, it seems we're at that moment in time once again. This may be the industry's biggest flex yet because lithium polymer power tools have been leaked and you'll see it here first right after this message from our sponsor, VCG Construction. Want to help out with the channel? Head on over to the merch store. You can get hoodies, hats, t-shirts. Link will be in the description below. Welcome back. My name is Vince. Let's get into it. For a few years now, everyone has been talking about lithium polymer technology or pouch shells as a replacement to lithium ion cylindrical cells. You know, like 18650 and the cutting edge 21700 cells, polymer or pouch cells are gonna blow them away. Now, a lot of us tech nerds may already know why this is an awesome shift, but I assure you the tradesperson and small business person inside me is super excited as well for major reasons that all of us can relate to. I'll get to them in a second, but I gotta tell you what I found about the technology first, and that'll explain how all the magic happens. In 1995, the pouch cell surprised the battery world with a radical new design. Rather than using a metallic cylinder and glass to metal electrical feed through for insulation, conductive foil tabs welded to the electrode and sealed to the pouch carry the positive and negative terminals to the outside. The pouch cell makes the most efficient use of space and achieves a 90 to 95% packaging efficiency, the highest among battery packs. Eliminating the metal enclosure reduces weight but the cell needs some alternative support in the battery compartment. The pouch cell offers a simple, flexible, and lightweight solution to battery design. It does say exposure to high humidity and hot temperature can shorten service life, but those operating conditions would affect almost any battery pack from the power tool companies presently. If you look at this chart, you'll see all types of stats. The one I'm a focus on is life cycles, which is the number of times you can discharge and recharge a battery cell. 2,000 times for a pouch. Compare that to lithium ion cylindrical cells, which is only three to 500. Pouch cells give you over 400% more recharge cycles. That's insane. How do pouch cells achieve this? Well, from my research, Instead of liquid electrolyte, high conductivity semi-solid polymers form this electrolyte. It's like gel. These batteries provide higher specific energy than other lithium battery types, which means more power, which would normally mean more heat. But because of the flat pouch design, instead of having a single point for energy to go in and come out of like a lithium ion cylindrical cell, a pouch cell is flat, which gives more surface area to connect the leads that come out of the cell, which means less resistance, which means less heat. And everyone knows that excessive heat kills battery cells. Eliminate the heat and think about how much more energy you can draw from the cells and quicker, which means you'll be able to power bigger tools with smaller, longer lasting batteries. Then on the flip side, think about how much faster you'll be able to recharge those batteries. 
People are opposed to rapid charging because they believe it kills batteries. But it's the heat that kills them, not the rapid charging. Eliminate the resistance and eliminate the heat. Pouch or stacked lithium is also used in applications where weight is a critical feature. When this pick was first sent to me, my mind didn't register the difference. It looks pretty much like any flex drill driver kit box. I did a double take when I saw the exploded battery pack and stacked lithium power that charges everything tagline. You can see those stacked polymer or pouch style cells where they used to have cylindrical cells and they're in the same 24 volt flex battery pack. If we zoom into the top of the box, it literally says the flex stacked advantage. Then rattles off all the benefits of lithium pouch cells, faster charging, longer battery life. But my favorite part is where it says 24 volt cross compatible. So it'll work with the previous gen of tools. If it's all true, that's awesome. So it's lighter, more powerful, charges faster, gives you four time the life cycles. But at the present moment, a limitation of the pouch cell format is a lack of standardization, impacting costs to produce and selling prices. As development of pouch cells continues, it will become more available, adoption will increase, and it will be more widely used. It's like a big snowball rolling downhill. Standardization most always improves production, efficiency, it lowers costs, increases volumes, all while optimizing performance. And if you like optimizing performance, then smash the like button. It doesn't cost you a dime. It helps out the channel immensely, and you'll get seven years of good luck. There's no good reason not to. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy and you're here in the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.